In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to create HTTP custom configuration file. If it is your first time here, please subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to like this video. Let's get started. First, you will tap on the thread dot at the top right hand side here. Then, you will select clear or reset configuration here. So, it is cleared. Now, you open our browser. Then you search for fast SSH. Fast SSH dot com. Then you use our two fingers to zoom in. Then at the very top of the browser, there is SSH here. You click on it. Then you select Create UDP Custom. Sometimes an ad will pop up, so you just click on the close here to close it. Then you scroll down and select your preferred server. So for the purpose of this video, let me select the Germany. You scroll down again and use your two fingers to zoom in. Then you type your username here. So let me say it's Filippo3. Then you add your password here to my password. Let me. After that, then you check this one. I'm not a robot. And you check it down too. Then you zoom out a little bit. Then you scroll down and click on create account. Create account here. After clicking on create account, your account will be generating. So you just wait for some few minutes. Okay, the account has been created. So our username, we will copy our username, our password, and the server IP. So let me first copy the server IP here. The server IP. Then I copy. Then we will get back to the app, the HTTP custom app. Then we will paste the IP address here. Then you add colon, colon this one. You add it. Then add our port. So the port is one, two, six, five, five, three, five. Six five five three five one two six five five three five. Then you add our at symbol here. At symbol. Then we will paste our username and the password here. So let me go and copy the username. Username. Then get back to the app and paste it here. Then I'll add another colon. This one. Then I'll. Get back to the website. And copy the password. Let me copy the password. And then. I'll get back to the app. And add the password to. The password here. So DNS is already enabled. Then we enable UDP custom. UDP custom. Then you click here the plugin setting, and then you come to UDP tweak settings and click on it. Okay, here yeah, you can you can choose to manipulate the figures here. I prefer maintaining sixty four at the buffer side. And the transfer 30 and the receive to 30. You can choose to manipulate it. It depends on you. 
So after manipulating your figures, you click on apply. Then you click on connect to connect our VPN. So you click on connect. And it says HTTP custom is ready. Let me see. Okay. So if you click on log here, all the details will be here. So it says HTTP custom is ready. Boldly printed here. In my next video, I will show you how to export HTTP custom files so that you can share your files with others. If you've watched the video to this far, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and share it to others. Thank you for watching.